Four Sixes Ranch, an AQHA all-time leading breeder of winners and earnings presents Fifth Fastest Qualifier, Day One, Tempting Destiny. A close examination of Tempting Destiny's race record reveals how close he came to being a three-time Futurity finalist. He's just kind of steadily gotten better. Uh, uh, he, he, he was kind of a, a colt that he, he, he ran some good races. He qualified for the Rio Dosa Futurity and ran seventh in the finals. Got beat a nose in the rainbow trials and wind up with the seventh fastest. So you just like a couple of hundreds making it. He just never had really run a complete race. But he got real close in his All-American trial. They're running. Crossing over at the start was NCC Game On and caused a little bit of bunching. Tempting Destiny came away fast and is going right with Kamalo's version. These two stride for stride and then back to rattle in battle and at the rail NCC Game On. Tempting Destiny in front. Tempting Destiny from Kamalo's version and rattle in battle and the Volcom's Jess. Tempting Destiny. Tempting Destiny sailed home under GR Carter and held on to post the fifth and final qualifying time. The Tempting Dash gelding was a $75,000 Ruidosa yearling purchased by trainer Mike Joyner on behalf of a diverse ownership group. Well, you got Mark Allen and Leonard Block. They're the owners of uh, Mind That Bird. Their, their goal and their dream is to have won the Kentucky Derby and won the All-American Fraternity. And then uh, we got Butch Southway that uh, he was partners on another horse with them. And then we have my wife, Linda. She's in on the horse also. And so uh, it, it, it is a very interesting group there. Tempting Destiny agrees. And now for that race on Labor Day. Yeah.